Let's learn about the tool Wireshark. It is a free packet analyzer tool. It lets you see all the packets the computer is sending and receiving on the network. First go to the Wireshark website www.wireshark.org Download the program and follow on. You can hit the download button here and choose the version for your OS. After downloading it, install the software. So you can next install the software. Mine it's already installed here. Once you click the Wireshark exe file, this is the Wireshark interface that comes up. This is the list of all the ne network interfaces on your computer. The network interfaces are shown here. You have to choose which interface for Wireshark to capture packets on. This could be the internet connection if using a desktop, the ethernet. Or if you're using a lap laptop, it would be the Wi-Fi adapter. So in my case, I'm double clicking it. Wireshark starts capturing packets immediately we will start see a whole bunch of packets the computer is sending and receiving there is UDP TCP ARP ICMP Let's learn about ping packets. Ping packets are type of internet control messages. These packets are part of ICMP protocol. And to show only ICMP packets, click on this display filter bar and type ICMP. and click enter now let's go to our terminal and make a ping request We have to make a pink request to a particular IP address to watch the ICMP packets. Open the terminal 
typing one nine two point one six eight point zero point seven so we are pinging Wireshark shows the source and destination IP. For each of these packets, the information that Wireshark gives over here is more interesting. These four lines here, each of them corresponds to one of the layer of the internet. Each of the layer is represented by header that is contained on that packet. So when Wireshark intercept a packet, it looks at all of the headers of that packet. So we get complete information of the packet at every step of the network. The first line here frame 451 corresponds to physical layer header the actual physical packet that was transmitted along the wire the second layer the internet layer here there is a source address which is my computer del sorry the, the source address it is a router manufacturer of my router the destination address is the manufacturer of my laptop motherboard next is the IP layer layer 3 and Vaisha gives a list of all the fields in the layer 3 header Here the protocol is ICMP. The, this packet has an ICMP header on it that contains information about the pink request. So this is how pinging has been carried out. Next, let's stop the capture. Here there are some buttons. for start capturing, stop capturing and restart capturing. Now let us filter for HTTP packets in Wireshark. Restarting. And let's open a page the first page in internet
Wireshark has found few packets. Let's refresh this page. Here we can see all the HTTP requests and replies got by this computer. These are the GET request. First click on the reply from the server. This is OK with the data that we want. If you go down here and look at the layers and click on the line based text data, this shows the actual bytes of packet and what they are encoding. This whole bunch here. Here we see the actual HTML of the website is directly coded inside the packet that was sent. We can see the entire TCP connection that were used to send this request. Next, to see the TCP stream, right click in one of these packets and follow TCP stream. Wireshark pops up a box that shows the entire data that was sent and received inside the single TCL connection. Everything in red is what was sent and everything in blue is what was received. If we look closer, we can see the GET request made to the HTML and the GET request of the single HTTP connection, which means that this connection must have been persistent. So that is about capturing ICMP and HTTP packets using Wireshark.